the new 2022 Subaru WRX has just been added to Forza Horizon 5. As ever, with brand new additions to this game, to obtain the new vehicle, all you have to do is complete 20 points in the week's festival playlist, which is autumn season, which I've done by doing the trial, the two event labs, the photo challenge, Horizon Open, and the two rivals events at the beginning of the month. To be honest, I think this is probably the least interesting car added as part of this Hidden Horizons series, um, and it's not really all that exciting when compared to, well, what the Subaru Impreza WRX used to be. I know they've now dropped the whole Impreza thing and it is just the WRX, but it's kind of not as mad, it doesn't go rallying like those cars used to, it's just kind of lost its coolness, I kind of feel like. It produces 271 horsepower and weighs just under one and a half tons, um, rating it um, in B class at 663 from standard. So at this point we decided to compare it to some of those older Subarus that I think most of us actually prefer, first in a drag race. Blue. Oh, the one guy Lots of blue the cars. There's this one guy with 13. Come on, girl. Ah, uh, this is what uh, manual shifting does, I'm assuming. Is anyone using manual with clutch? So that is... yeah. <laughs> this one's just faster anyway. <clears throat> so that was the result of the drag race, but what happens when we take them into an environment much more suited to Subarus? The Baja circuit. Steve just pushes an escort into uh, uh, Oh. Would these be actually? You know, we should do. Actually, oh, you know, actually, I'm, 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 oh, if we're taking if, if we we're taking these B class off, like new one, B class racing or whatever, I might take this and B class it. See what it's like. You know, when tune or something. Get you. <clears throat> okay, there's some decisions I'm not hugely happy with, but I'm just happy there's a new test drive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but the back, the most horrible decision was the feckin' online only. XP. Yeah, that and the XP of like, t like it's based on racing, and yes, every race you get is 2,500 RP, and if you try to grind the pay mm -hmm. and the uh, and, and the XP. Goes down. It resets when you. Whose idea the game, was that? It? Doesn't it reset? It's only if you do it like in a row. Yeah, but no, I mean that's that's what people do to grind <coughs> for levels and money. There are a few interesting manufacturer colours. There's of course the Subaru blue that we all know. There's this rather nice orange. There's a silver, a white, a black, and a red. You may have noticed though that there are also advanced painting options. Group 1 is the main body, as you might expect. Group 2, though, interestingly, um, is is the, the wheel arches. And as for Group 3, that's... well, that's the lower bit, which is kind of interesting, because those aren't metal. I think these are plastic components. Um, but yeah, you, you could do something like that to your Subaru, if you so wished. What I've done with mine, though, is painted it in my favourite of the manufacturer colours, the orange. That's not all for visual modifications, though. This car, much like um, the Mitsubishi we had last week, has some visual mods. We can, for example, put a front splitter on, or Forzerero, which we'll just ignore. We can also put two different versions of these Airflow Dynamics wings on the rear, so for the time being, uh, I'm going to put the bigger one on. There is, of course, also Forza Aero. Um, again, to complete the kit, we've got, well, some blades sticking out the back of there, which can only be safe for whatever's behind you. Let's hope you don't reverse into anything. Um, and there are some side skirts. And this is what it looks like with the full kit applied. There are also um, some engine swap options. 
you can fit a 6.2 litre V8, a 2 litre flat 4 turbo rally or a 4 litre flat 6 engine and you can rear wheel drive uh, swap the Subaru if you want to ruin it. You can of course also change your tyre compounds, tyre widths and track widths which to be honest if it's got all of the sticky out bits of kit all over it you probably want that as well to fill those arches. Then you've got all of your usual clutch, transmission, driveline and diff upgrades, brakes, uh, suspension, um, anti-roll bars, roll cage and weight reduction which can bring weight down as far as 1240 kilos. Remember we did add a little bit of weight though by fitting all of these parts. And apart from that we have all of our usual engine upgrades. At this point we went in search of some B-Class tunes, but unfortunately had no luck actually finding any. Instead, to our surprise, we only found a decent looking tune in A-Class made by K1Z Bard, bringing power up to 473 horsepower and weight down to 1,237 kilos. We then took it into some A-Class Horizon Open, joining for the second event of an adventure at the Copper Canyon Sprint. This was off to a chaotic start, and through the corner of death a Mustang had a big problem um, with their driving ability and decided to kill me. They then promptly managed to somehow roll their car, so that was kind of that. Then later in the race the other police Subaru then went and fell off a bridge and gave the two 2022 cars a 1-2 finish in their first race. The final race of this set of races was at the Arch of Mulahay circuit, which is still only two laps. Here I drove straight into a wall very early on, however I then quickly ended up just behind the other 2022 Subaru and we ended up with a second 1-2 finish. We then headed straight into another full set of races in the Subaru, starting with the Copper Canyon Sprint again. Here it was a similar story to the previous race on this route, um, to begin with at least, but by the end I had lost one position to a Mazda RX-7. Next it was off to the Cathedral Circuit, where it was down to just three of us racing. The other WRX had an encounter with a wall on lap one though, so I ended up getting my first victory in this new Subaru. And finally, with a lot more cars on the grid, we finished with a race at the De Sansa Dorado Sprint, which contained a, a, a bone shaker of all things. But after much bumping into them, I did eventually manage to get past, as well as the other Subaru, but we only ended up with a third and fourth place for these new WRXs, so it wasn't really a great ending. And whilst the Subaru wasn't bad and seemed reasonably fast, it wasn't exactly pleasant to drive, particularly under braking, so I doubt we'll, either of us um, that applied this tune, be using it for much more racing in Horizon 5. And that is going to do it for today's video, taking a very first look at this Subaru WRX here on Forza Horizon 5. As ever, do let me know your thoughts on this brand new addition to the Forza series, but for today's video that is going to be all, so thank you very much for watching, and I will be back with the next one very soon. Thank you.